Let's begin with the short overview of A2019, which is including recorders, variables, all kind of actions, the packages, sub actions, as well as script, each and everything. So, in better understanding, I'll write it down in the notepad. So, what is this application? This is a completely web based application. In the previous version, in the version 11, it's a desktop application. There we have client as well as the task editor window. But here, there is a single control room. There is no uh, any other desktop applications. Just you are going to use this control room. So here we have the task editor and each and everything. There is no separate application for this. And next recorders. So in the recorders, we are having only one recorder. In previously in the version 11, we had you know, three type of recorders, screen recorder, smart recorder and web recorder. For any kind of you know, for separate application, we have used uh, the particular recorder but here we are going to use only one recorder which is called as universal recorder so there is no other recorders a single recorder have all the features like for screen applications or else you know desktop applications web application for each and every application you can use the single recorder and next variables so in this variables previously in the version 11 we had four type of variables value type array type list type and random so this is the version 11 variable but currently we have 13 type of variables as of now they have now 13 type of variables available in this a2019 so let me show you that you may think like uh, why we are having 13 different type of variables because of we are having different data types right with the four type of variable, it's not included with that part. That's the reason they have created 13 different type of variables. For each different type of data set, you can use the different variables. Like for the string variable, you can use for the string data type, you can use the string variable. For the number data type, you can use number variable, date and time, boolean, file. Everything is easy, you know. For different kind of data set, we are going to use the different variable. That's the only different. For this, you know, all the variables I have provided the separate video. So you can watch the video to learn each and everything about this variable. Just, you know, in this overview, you can learn what are the variables available in this A2019. So there are 13 different type of variables. It's uh, quite easy, very easy to learn. And the next credentials. They have added the credentials with, the you know, in order to use the password or else username if you want to store your information so you can create the credential then you can use it directly whenever if you are using the credential in the locker uh, instead of task within the task if you are using the variables or uh, anyone can see the password as well as the other informations but if you are using the credentials it's completely secure no one can see your password or else nothing will be it's completely secure. That's the reason so they, they have created the credentials as well as lockers. So within the locker, we can store your credentials. It's a very easy method. So in the upcoming videos, you know, I have created already have created one of the other videos for that. So you can learn about credentials, what is locker, and the other things. And in the action package. So this is the my bots already have created a lot of bots let me know let me open any of the bot and i will show you the actions what are all the actions are available in this so this is the edit task bot if you are new to the automation anywhere you will not get confused so if you are coming from the version 11 initially you will get confused because of already we have used no used desktop application but currently we have transferred to the control room web based applications so but uh, maximum number of options are same like the actions they have just modified the few things apart from that here we have a edit task bot window so in the version 11 we have called this as task editor window but currently edit task bot this is the web based application that's the reason edit task bot and here we have three type of views flow view list view and dual view so what is flow view in this flow view we have you know the flow wise you can see the result start to end you need to just drag and drop or else double click the actions what are the actions it required you can drag and drop or else double click let me double click one of the option so you can see the result here you can see it has been added between start to end 
so we need to double click or drag and drop between this options start to end you need to drag and drop the actions this is a simple thing like the previous version the options are same and a list in this list view you can see the list view of all the actions so what are the actions you created uh, for a better customization you can use this list view or else we can use the dual view in this dual view you can see both options such as list view on the right side we have a list view on the left hand side we have a flow view most of the options are same between the version 11 as well as a2019 but the views are different and on the right hand side we have a informations we need to provide the details for each and every actions so whenever you are drag and drop the actions you need to provide the actions so in previously one of the pop-up window has been opened for each and every actions in the pop-up window you need to mention the details or else something like that but here in this web page itself it has the information so here you need to provide the mandatory details for each and everything like for create group for each and everything when you select this particular object it will display the action list so in this action list just fill the details and you can continue each and everything there is no worries and next script so here what are all the scripts are supported in a2019 all kind of script like python or else vb script or java script any kind of script supported in the a2019 as well as loop functions let me drag and drop one of the loop function so you can understand very easily in this loop function in the iterator we have all the actions such as for each row in csv or text for each row in table database dictionary email excel advanced excel basic folder list loop office 365 xml for each and everything they have covered within the loop function so you can use based on the you know if you are trying to automate the email just you can use for e for each mail in mailbox so when you select that option the uh, other options such as session name everything will get changed so based on your selection it will get changed if you are trying to automate the database or else any other excel file based on your selection you can see the other results will get changed other drop down list here you need to provide the details like the same it's very easy you know you can understand very easily also we have provided the other videos about each and every actions like how we are going to use loop function variables and the sub actions each and everything and the next the actions so in this left side we have all the actions list active directory analyze app integration application aws and the other action also we have some of the variable supporters which is nothing but the boolean so these are all just a variable supporters you don't need to worry about these things these are all not the actions first you need, first you should know what is package and what is the actions in this list you know so this application this called as package so like app integration these are all packages and within this we have options right these are all called as actions so this is the package and this is a actions very simple and this boolean which is a variable supporter it's not a actual action but why we are having this boolean under this action list because of we are having uh, multiple data type right so in order to use the multiple data type we need to convert some of the variables uh, if you are using the boolean variable if you want to convert the boolean variable into number or else any other different type of variable you need to use these functions compare to equal to two number like mo most of them for converts you can convert anything or else inverts like that for that we are going to use this kind of variable while you are practicing you will know each and everything also we have explained everything in the next videos you can see each and every options like this you know they have covered each and everything and when you are looking for if you are particularly looking for object cloning or manage windows control you will not get these type of commands 
for any kind of web recorder automation or any automation you need to use this recorder so when you click on this recorder it will capture the particular object uh, like the object cloning command so in the previous version we had a object cloning command so here we have the other recorder which is called as capture here you can see under this recorder we have a capture action so both are same like when you click on this it will capture all the object like the capture or actions so you can automate the actions very easily it's not difficult let me drag and drop this capture so here also you need to select the particular window when you select the window next it will you know enable this capture object you can click on capture object capture the particular object from this application like the same you can use this by video recording story recording using this recorder option you can capture the particular object either you can update or get the information from any kind of applications desktop application as well as any kind of web based up, web based applications that's up to you it's quite easy uh, in the practice practice will helps you to learn very quickly you can learn it shortly also we have covered all the videos so it will helps you to learn something email most of the options are the same like the previous options don't get confused because of we know in this section we have string something like that because of uh, these options are supported for variables so this is not a actual actions so don't get confused why we are having using this and the other things you will come to know while you are watching the complete video of the variables already have created for the user variable and the system variable so when you are watching that particular session you will come to know why we are having multiple actions in this list something like that so this is the basic overview of a2019 please watch the other videos so that you will come to know each and everything about the automation anywhere how we are running the tool and what is the benefit how much time it will take so initially it will take some more time uh, because of it we want to preload the packages initially it will deploying you to your computer if if it's a desktop application it will not take much time but this is a web based application so it wants to uh, complete your based uh, basic transactions such as it want to uh, preload packages as well as other sub actions it's want to complete it so initially it will take some time and after that you can see the speed 